Listen to this, okay? DMZ Season 6 is actually incredible. And it seriously is like that this time. So let's start with something I'm really excited about. And this is not strictly related to DMZ. If you're playing Warzone and DMZ together like I do, this is related to both game modes. The haunting of Almazra. The entire conversion of Almazra and Bondel into dark night spooky map. New Zombie Royale is returning on both of these maps with brand new and original features from the very first haunting in Vatom Verdansk, which was probably one of the best events for majority of the people in Warzone history. So you can expect those random jump scares, loot boxes. I remember how much I got scared when I first time opened one. Uh, Gulag is no more during the event. Dead players will be coming back to the map as dead zombie ghosts and try to grab vials so they can go back to life. There will also be Captured Souls event running where each kill counts as a captured soul in game. And then at the end of the DMC or Battle Realm match, all those kills converts into in-game currency and you can exchange that for a bunch of cosmetics, Halloween, zombie steam rewards. A new mastery camo to unlock, new blood seeker grenade, hunted boxes will be contained bunch of loot such as plates and ammo. All this is coming on October 17th, so that's probably gonna be the mid season 6 update right after MW3 beta kicks in, which makes sense really. It's gonna be very cool, I cannot lie, looks extremely promising. Okay, let's start about the best thing in DMZ since launch. And I'm not even kidding. Assimilation now allows a maximum of 4 players per team. Massive, massive nerf for Assimilation and 6 man squads are no more. It's absolutely incredibly welcome change. It's unfortunate that it took so long to be implemented in now final season, season 6 when new MW3 is about to release and we still don't know anything about the future of this game but hey it's here and I cannot be more happier for this change and what do you think about this assimilation change let me know in the comments because I love to talk to you guys and see how you feel about this one players can now use their own dog tags to barter in DMZ which is an interesting change hostages can no longer be dropped on dirt bike switch I'm assuming it's just a glitch fix that's being used by solos. Hostages can now be extracted in drivable Exfil helicopters. So basically when you get the Exfil hostage contract, you go to the heavy chopper with a hostage, Exfil and complete the contract at the same time. A great change, I didn't even knew that wasn't possible before, but still, it's a great addition. Reduce the frequency of killstreaks found in loot and surviving a hunt contract now grants a UAV immediately to the hunted squad. It's like a Yuna reverse card towards the squad that wants you gone from the game. And why is this so huge? Look at this now. So you get the UAV if you survive, but UAV in DMZ now costs whooping 100k cash. So if you survive the contract, basically you got a 100k upgrade. And look at all the changes for the DMZ economy. They absolutely massively bumped all the prices for absolutely everything. Munition box from 1k to 5k, large bag from 30 to 50, 3 plate vest from 35 to 65k. JLTV is now $75,000. Precision 12 to 30, cluster strike, that's a mortar strike they just use the old name from original version, but it's as well from 12 to 30k. And revive pistol from 7.5 to 10k. Now why they have done this? I think it's a fantastic change. Basically they want to make sure that there is no more dead squads running around DMZ, infilling with 250k in wallets and spam by UAVs from buy station with their turrets LTVs. And previous and current pay to win bottles for DMZ are now even more pay to win. If a character comes with a free UAV use, it's a free 100k in game. Economy was completely ruined in DMZ since the wallet integration, 
I've made a few videos about the issue already and this massive change, I think it's gonna be very successful. So the days of teams rolling up in DMZ and hunting with 6 man team with 100 UAVs stowed in their backpacks <laughs> with JLTVs are gone. Unless of course you got $300,000 to spare. Welcome change for me. We're gonna see in actual gameplay how it plays out, but I think it's gonna be absolutely fantastic. If we are talking about the buffs and nerfs for weapons in DMZ Wars and Modern Warfare 2, FR events are got a little buff, ISO Humlock again got a nerf, and they're really trying to completely nerf this gun to the ground. And unfortunately, M13B got heavily nerfed as well. But a weapon you should be look up to is the TAC V. Close damage increased, close damage range increased and close to mid damage range is also increased. P90 is as well really buffed and shotguns, yeah I don't know why they keep buffing those, especially the MX Guardian, it was already pretty good and now it's even better for some reason. Karak 300 with a little buff, SPX got a big buff as well, but on the other hand Signal 50 got a nerf. Fennec got adjusted some buffs some nerfs and the same goes for the MX9. There are three new weapons in Season 6 as well, TR-76 Gazed Assault Rifle, mid fire rate but high damage output. Interesting thing is, it fires the same rounds as the AMAX from Modern Warfare 2019. And if the AMAX is back, count me in. New ISO 9mm, we already had ISO in Modern Warfare 2, so I don't see why they made this weapon honestly, instead of just converting the one we had into this build, but yet they decided to make entirely new weapon and the same goes with M13B and M13C, I don't know why they are doing this, but new melee weapon as well and all of these are available to claim in the battle pass. Black Cell battle pass option with Valeria skin is also available, you spend your money how you want, I know I'm not buying Black Cell, I think it's just not worth the money at all. There are a bunch of new characters and bundles in Season 6. Al Simons comes as a new operator. Same goes for Spawn. The Tire Zero and Tire 100 skin in Burn Edition. Creepy Clown. Violator. Disputer. Soul Crasher looks really good in my opinion. Nikto Spawn. Gaia. Two new operators from Diablo game are gonna make the appearance. A Skeletor from Overlord of Evil. Ash Williams for Evil Dead 2, Al Kodar from Heaslink, Doom Weapon Bundle, which I already heard it had some sketchy animations, but yeah, bunch, bunch of bundles are coming in Season 6. And finally, full roadmap for Modern Warfare 3 launch. September 27 for Season 6, of course. Call of Duty next event is happening on October 5th. Make sure to watch out for that video. MW3 beta for PlayStation users on October 6th and worldwide on October 12th. You can expect to see MW3 gameplay on this channel on the very first day. Hunting event on October 17th, early access campaign on November 2nd, which I'm planning on streaming, if you're interested let me know, and MW3 fully launches on November 10th. I cannot wait to see what they prepare for us. So that's the season 6 for you guys, DMZ season 6 is looking incredible, incredible. It started a few days ago, but the main action starts on October 17th. Tell me in the comments down below, how do you welcome all these changes? It's a pretty massive update, I love to hear your thoughts and talk to you guys. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel because I would absolutely love for you to join my community. Have a great day and as always, take care and peace.